Welcome, America, 50 states, United States of America, to the greatest show on earth, Hillbilly DVD Review. Today, we're going to uh, review... Do, 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 do. A House of the Devil, motherfucker. Scary ass movie. Scary. Independent movie, but it's fucking great, man. It's better than the garbage you pay to see at the man, theater. Man, I would pay 13 bucks to see that in the theater over fucking Transformers Park. Man, Three. fuck Transformers. Fuck I Transformers. want to see good shit. I want to see fucking yeah. weird masturbatory fantasies <laughs> of Michael Exactly. Bay. I'm going to start this off, and I'll hand it over to the goat here. This movie hits home for, for D's because uh, back in the day, actually, my parents actually did believe in uh, satanic cults. They did. And, uh, and, and, I, and by proxy, <laughs> I believe in satanic cults. And the, and the, whole, the whole impetus of this movie is, is going back to the 70s and 80s where, where uh, people in America believe in this shit. It even says you know on the back, during the 1980s... What's the first line, right? During the 1980s, over 70% of American adults believe the existence of abusive satanic cults. And unfortunately, your parents are one of man. M Mr. and Mrs. D's were full-time believers of satanic cults. No, they they weren't sa they weren't satanic worshippers. They were just scared as they fuck. Just, they just lived to hate satanic man, motherfuckers. I know, I know. So, so much that they burned your goddamn Masters of the Universe, He-Man, in the fucking word, word. And, and what did they say after they burned that shit in the fireplace? I said they screamed. They said these fucking action <laughs> figures screamed <laughs> in the fire. They said they screamed in the fire. They said He-Man, Skeletor, Man-at-Arms were screaming demonic screams in the fireplace. The only thing Man-at-Arms was screaming was, Hell, my He-Man, Skeletor is burning the shit out of me, man. <laughs> the point is, the point is, this movie is, is not only a throwback to the fucking 80s movies, but it's a throwback to the culture of the time. Because yeah. this is a true this statistic. Is, this, this whole movie is a throwback to the late 70s, early 80s. 80s. Just the culture in general, you know what I'm Everything. saying? Everything. Yeah, like, it's, yeah. like, it doesn't necessarily say what year it's set in, but it looks like it's set in goddamn 1979. Girl, girl has a Walkman on the whole girl movie. Girl has a no, Walkman man. on. Tape, There's tape old Walkman. songs in it. Yeah. You know, everybody's dressed all fucking old school. Yeah. And basically what the plot of this is, is this girl, who's a college student, she has to go... Uh, babysit a kid she thinks well, at the uh, house. Right, but because she she's desperate for money. She's about to rent a room for like 300 bucks a month, but she don't have the e money. E.T.'s mom wants to rent her this room, e but she's got to come, hey. come up with the 300 bucks. That's how you know it's over. None of it costs yeah, 300 yeah. bucks to rent a so, fucking so, apartment. So right off the bat, we got the stakes that are high. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, That's a good way to start a movie. You know? Because why does she need to get out of her dorm room into an apartment? Because her dorm room uh, her fucking room roommate is slut. slut. <laughs> this bitch is sucking dick. 24 is running on her. This bitch yeah. is a scandalous fucking whore. Yeah. And this girl, this girl, the main girl in the movie, she's just a good girl. She just wants to live in a place yeah. where, where ain't no dick slamming into right. no vaginas, goddamn. So anyway, she takes a babysitting job. She shows up this creepy old motherfucker. Old Francis. Tom, oh, Tom, Tom, Tom Noonan? Yeah, a.k.a. Yeah. Francis Dollar High from Manhunter. Yeah. <laughs> he comes out with his cane and his old arthritic ass. He's tall. Ass. He's old as fuck, <laughs> He's man. He's old as fuck. Man. He got some long ass gray hair, but, but, I mean, motherfucker's got a smooth voice, though. He, he does, play. he does. This guy's hey, a good actor, man. Yeah, he, he is, plays he, is, a, he, he is. plays a fake Frankenstein in uh, Monster Squad. Yeah, he did. Anyway, he says, okay, I kind of bullshit you here. You're yeah. not going to be babysitting a kid. You're going to be babysitting my mom. Mo Mother-in-law. Mother-in-law. Huh? She's old. She's fucked up. We got her locked up in the attic. Don't even fucking worry about it, but I need you in the house. But he's so case... desperate. He doubles her salary. Yeah, he yeah. said, I'll pay you 50 bucks instead of 20. No, actually, he pays you 400 instead of 200. Oh, is that much? God damn. Uh, yeah. Which is a lot in the 80s. Right. Yeah, you could buy some Transformers, some Lionel Richie albums. You could, you could buy like three sound waves in the box for oh, four fuck, bucks. three sound waves. At least. And, right. and maybe even throw in a fucking wheel jack with that shit. <laughs> so anyway, she's in this house her alone and shit starts going weird. Creepy noises, fuckers outside. There's, it's it's there's subtle a, though, you know. Yeah, there's a creepy subtle. fucker. She tries to order a pizza. Shit gets fucked. I don't want to spoil it, but shit gets fucked up. Her friend who gives her a ride. I, don't don't, don't spoil him. that shit, man. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I, I, I was. I got this, this is a horror movie, goddamn it. And horrible things are going to happen. And that's why I like this movie. It's slow, which is actually good in this case because it builds up the tension, gets you fucking scared, gets you ready to piss your pants, goddamn. Yeah, this this ain't a party movie. This is a sit down by yourself. Lights out, doors Get closed. Get scared. Movie. Right. Way better yeah. than that paranormal activity bullshit. Dude, Way that movie fucking bullshit. better than that. Yeah. But it, it, it's some drawn out, suspenseful terror. 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 I would, it's a uh, terror. Yeah. Terror. Terror. 
I give this movie because it is fucking scary. I give this shit an eight out of ten. Damn, I'm gonna give it a nine. Word. Nine. Okay. Oh man, I, was I, I don't blame you. I was scared. I don't blame you. Shitless. And as a picture and sound, they shot it on some uh, real good high def video. It looks crystal clear, but it also I'll give them credit. They shot it on video, but it looks it's like a old twist. film. Yeah, yeah. There's a twist to it. So it, like to it, it looks old as shit. It looks old as but, shit, but it looks it's clear. I mean, it's it's clear, clear old. The right? sound is good. On yeah. uh, picture and sound, really, I am going to give it an eight out of ten. I was going to give it an eight too, go. All right. I'm war with you, man. Special buddy. features. They got the commentary with the director, uh, T. West. Yeah. They got oh, deleted T. Ty scenes. West is great, man. T. He's, West. He's a man. Uh, uh, everything, man. Uh, they, they, they get, they get, yeah, man. They give a little interview of uh, why he came up with it and shit like that. I mean, yeah. they, I mean there's it's, some good it's insight. Really, it's really fucking good. I'll give him a 9 out of 10 on special features. Nah, I'll give him a 7, but I like him a lot. It's, it's yeah. good. That's good. Hey, anything, else, anything over 6 in the hillbilly world is gooder and shit. And this is, you know, this is the Blu-ray, but there also was a DVD slash VHS combo that came out of this. Ooh. Only available on Amazon.com. I didn't get that shit because I wanted the Blu-ray, not the goddamn DVD. I don't even have a, a VHS. CR anymore. I fucking threw mine out when I was. Well, you think you think you're too good for uh, VHS? No, man. I was mad at my girlfriend at the time, and I threw it at her. So that's it for House of Devil. It's real fucking good. Real package on the Blu-ray. If you can hunt that VHS down, it's cool to have a collector's item. It comes in a big box, just like the old days. But but don't but watch we, it. Keep it up wrapped up. It's yeah, keep that wrapped up with collector's yeah, item. Yeah, shit. yeah. But yeah. keep this Blu-ray and watch this because this is the they, best version of it. Good good sound, good screen. Fucking remember, watch it alone. Watch with the lights out. Watch with the girl by your side. And get scared, motherfucker. I'll probably get mad. <laughs> you probably get laid because them bitches be jumping in your arms if hey, you're so hey, man, scared hey, and shit. There's, there's some demons in that movie, too. You trying to spoil it? What the fuck? One last thing. Uh, we want to give a word of advice. If you go to Walmart and they got a McDonald's in there, don't eat at that fucking Walmart McDonald's because I don't know what happens, but that shit doesn't taste nearly as good as a real McDonald's. Shit is all they, they got they got the fattest bitches working in the Walmart McDonald's serving up the sloppiest ass it, fries. It, it don't taste we, the same. It do it. Shit, it. No, no. It's like it is what it is. It's Walmart McDonald's. I'll go God one step it. further. If you're in a super Walmart and there's two restrooms, one in the back, one in the front. Go to the back. Don't go to the one in the front. Yeah, because them motherfuckers just spraying feces all over the goddamn it's walls. It's almost like you're taking a hose to their ass and spraying the fucking shit on yeah. the wall. How does that happen? When I, shit, that when I shit it, it drops straight into the toilet. These motherfuckers, they're acting like they got a super soaker full of shit just spraying all over the wall. It's like they got a shit ass amazing. on their back or some <laughs> shit. I'm, I don't get it. It's anyway, crazy. stay away from that shit, all right? But so, Walmart's usually good. Yeah, I like Walmart. Yeah, all right. China Mark. Bye. <laughs>